to 12, 13, and you wouldn't believe the noise I have in my headset right now, 22, 27. When I mention shop watch, it's interesting. In my shop, we do so many different things. I have a uh, garment stand. I have a totally shredded uh, overall, which I wear when I'm in a shop like this. I have my jeans hanging there with my ch shirt for my office, and I have my uh, suit if I have to run out to a client. <laughs> so, and here we go. We have uh, 2.30, and as you can see, I mentioned before, it uh, speeds up. Uh, the movement a little bit and uh, there we go it just finished and the spindle stops zingo and we can take uh, this away and move the part out so usually you cannot see this uh, in that depth because we have uh, mechanisms which prevents that you can go up that close to a machine uh, because the machine can be unreliable, servo motors can fail, and then you have six horsepowers uh, throwing stuff at you, and uh, that's not very nice. So this is uh, that movie uh, regarding our B. I have very quickly uh, thrown in a uh, a movie with a V carving just to uh, for one minute. Here you can see, by the way, the fourth axis, which was uh, referred to. Um, it has a chuck. Uh, where you can put a rotary part in. It has a, uh, another support on the other end, and then I can drive this uh, uh, tool basically on top of this part, and while this rotates, it can cut into the part, uh, thus creating things like the screwdriver. And uh, the, uh, I, I modeled this pattern in Rhino, and I duplicated it four times, and I changed uh, each quadrant around a little bit, so it breaks the uh, monotony to the eye. And uh, after a while, it turned out real nice. The client was very, very happy, and actually is uh, ordering a door with about 12 of those cassettes, which are a little bit larger. So it does provide income. Uh, Carving this would probably take a whole week. It will re it will require cleaning up for about 20 minutes when it's done with a chisel to get rid of a couple of flakes. And I might even go a little bit slower with the um, uh, final wood. By the way, this is hard maple, which is about the worst thing to machine. It's a reason why we have uh, some stuff left in a while because nobody wants to deal with it. And uh, here is the uh, result. And this basically concludes my little hasty demonstration from idea through conception through a very brief T-spline modeling into machinable parts. I hope it was uh, uh, explanatory and fun to watch. Thank you very much, Rainer. I, I, I think I mentioned this. Just I sit in my office every day on the computer and just to see see the whole process of going from the CAD model to actually getting out in the shop and having the wood machined is just it's, it's really neat to see the whole process and how 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 straightforward it, how straightforward that is yeah. we'll give so. you a rebate on the machine if you want to buy one <laughs> great <laughs> sounds good um, uh, talking of machines I just wanted to chime in here and say that uh, Rhino cam is not restricted to just Rainer's machine <laughs> oh no 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 our three controllers so we out of the box we handle over 200 controllers and we also have a, a configurable post processor generator so if you have your own machine if you build your own machine or so or you have some other manufacturer's machine we can write a post processor very quickly yeah I just pulled it up um, I just pulled it up here and the uh, da, 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 da. And uh, here's just a, uh, a very brief uh, look uh, from A to uh, uh, Z, uh, Y, <laughs> uh, which kind of machines are uh, supported right away. And I, I worked on a lot of those shop bots and shop sabers and stuff, and the, the posts delivered with it are, are all flawless. And uh, if I would just go and, and uh, uh, just uh, edit one, then this is the screen you would have if you would have to define your own, which gives you for motion, circles, spirals, helical, spindles, feed rates, gives you all the options uh, to define your own stuff. 
uh, which is extremely easy. You've seen before feed rates were like F50 or so, and this is basically what you define feed rate code and the feed rate, and then it says F50 and gives you even a uh, sample output. So it's you don't have to be an engineer uh, or rocket scientist to define your own uh, post processor. So um, good point. It it has a lot of machines it can control, and if you have one, um, which where you know which commands are required to make it move, you can enter those here and you can end up with your uh, own machine. Okay. Um, we have some other questions to get to. Before we do, though, I just, um, I, just I, I promised an offer at the beginning of the webinar. Um, we've just been really pleased as we've gotten to know uh, the guys at Megsoft more over the past few months, how, how simple it really is to go from uh, T-Spline's model to have a machine using RhinoCam. So we arranged with them um, until, let's see, what, what was it, Anita? Anita, until the uh, August 16th, any T-Spline's owner uh, can buy uh, can buy RhinoCam for 10% off, and um, and they've and we've agreed to the same deal with T-Spline. So we just like to make it a little bit even more accessible to all of our customers to be able to complete their organic surfacing to to design pipeline. Um, so we'll we'll go ahead and email out the details of that in the follow up email for the webinar tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we would be more than happy to offer any of your customers a 10% discount on RhinoCamp. Uh, of course, we would also be very happy to support every single one of those customers. We do that free and uh, always available here in California to answer any of your questions. Okay, so let me, there, there's just a few more questions coming in. Um, Rainer, let me kind of pass on some to you from about, more about your machine. Sure. Um, let's see, and if you could maybe just step back from the mic a little bit more again, we're getting some more feedback. Oh, is that better? Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's better. Yeah, so, I kind of lost a little phone singing as you, as you, as you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and, and Rainer, I'm, I don't even know what a lot of these words mean, so hopefully you can help me out. Um, any reason to run Mach 3 versus EMC2? Does that mean um, to you? Yeah, the, uh, there are different machine controllers, you know, the, um, which is a box which actually, um, um, it, it's, a, it's a software part which translates a go to X, Y, and Z position into uh, signals for the motors. It's uh, basically uh, sending the army, you know, to make 10 steps to the front, to, the, to, to forwards and 10 steps to the left. That's, that is a part which basically translates uh, from uh, from Mexoft to, uh, to to the physical machine uh, drives, amplifiers, if you want to name it like this. And there are uh, very commercial ones, uh, pretty much uh, the 200 ones uh, supported from Mexoft. And uh, two are, um, uh, one of them are, is, is uh, very cheap and commercial. It's called Max 3 and it is made for general purpose machines, uh, which can be built yourself. So that's about, I think, just below $200. And then there is a module which is called EMC. Uh, which has been created initially by NASA, by the government, and was released to the public domain and was enthusiastically uh, uh, developed um, by um, basically, in, I, I call them engineers, they are also hobbyists, but it requires a lot of knowledge to work with this uh, source code, so I say engineers, and that's for free, uh, and it's Linux based. Um, Mac 3 runs on Windows, and EMC runs on uh, Linux, um, and uh, I just say um, uh, the Linux version also uh, is based on a so-called real-time kernel, um, which means that uh, the uh, machine controller gets a de de defined amount of uh, CPU time uh, ryth rhythmically, which is uh, like as safe as a dollar in the bank. Um, well, I'm sh maybe maybe not that safe. <laughs> but uh, Mach 3 basically has sometimes issues with um, on slower machines that uh, Windows is, is <laughs> yeah, just, just imagine you're cutting apart and, and Windows decides to update your browser, which you forgot to close in the background. That usually uh, leads to uh, humorous results in Windows. And if the browser in um, Mach 3 does, in EMC Linux does that, uh, um, EMC, the machine controller, still gets its time slices as precise as um, possible. So 
The reason to use one or the other is comfort. Um, if I go to a um, uh, warehouse and I 